Hello my friends and welcome back! I have seen a few videos on YouTube where you can build a simple spot welder with only a few electrolytic capacitors. So let's build one and test it. This video is sponsored by my patrons. I want to thank all my patrons for their support. If you want to see these videos a few days earlier and more DIY videos and updates about my future projects, please check out my Patreon page. These are the capacitors I will use today. 6800 microfarads at 25 volts. If I charge one capacitor with 12 volts and then short it on the nickel strip, it creates a few sparks, but nothing impressive. I will connect a bunch of them in parallel to increase the capacity. This is a 2.5 square millimeter solid copper wire. It's normally used in household electrical wiring. My helpful assistant is always curious about my projects. I will bend it and make a frame with two branches. Each side will hold four capacitors. I have a few more pins to solder. This is a job for my old and ugly soldering gun. Next I need some welding leads. This 6 square millimeter stranded wire should be good enough. The electrodes or welding tips will be made from the 2.5 square millimeter solid wire. I will wrap the lead wire around the electrode. This will make a good contact surface. And now I will bend the wire. This way the thickness of the electrode will double, so it can carry more current. There we go, nice and tight. For a more professional look, the electrode also needs to be insulated with heat shrink tube. Only the tip of the electrode will be visible. I will use two connectors from this electrical strip to attach the leads to the capacitor cluster. The capacitor spot welder is almost completed, but I need something to charge it. For that I will use my DIY variable power supply and I will limit the charging current to 500 mA. And I will add a ceramic resistor in series with the power supply, because each well will actually be a short circuit and I don't want to put too much stress on the power supply. Ok, everything is set up, let's test it on a 0.2mm nickel strip. And we have some sparks. After each weld I need to wait 3 seconds for the capacitors to recharge. I should probably increase the charging current. You can see the current drop from 500 mA to 0. I will increase the voltage to 15 volts. Let's try to weld together two nickel strips of 0.15 mm. Hey, looks like the nickel strips are almost welded together. But the most important thing is, will it be able to spot weld nickel strips to lithium cells? Well, after a few unsuccessful tests with different types of nickel strips and different voltages, I managed to get some powerful fireworks with 18 volts and 0.1 mm thick nickel strips. The strip appears to be welded, but can be removed without much effort. But why is that? Why is it so hard for the nickel strip to stick to the lithium cell? I know that these are not super capacitors, so they are not very powerful, but still they can create a lot of fireworks. Isn't that enough? Actually no, the biggest problem is that you cannot set the exact moment when the current should flow. In a typical welding circuit with MOSFETs or even with a solenoid switch, you can press hard on the nickel strip with both electrodes and then the current will flow and melt the contact points between the strip and the cell housing. But without being able to control when the current should flow, the capacitors will completely discharge when you touch the nickel strip. And if the nickel strip is not pressed with both electrodes, it will melt right before it touches the battery. I need to move faster than the current flow. And after more practice I became Captain Current and can finally move fast enough to get some better results.
It's much harder to remove the nickel strip now. But what if I control the current flow using a spot welding kit? So I connected the capacitor bank instead of a powerful battery. This 12.6 volts and 2 amps charger will charge the capacitors much faster, but I also added the resistor in series because I don't want to damage the charger. The welding kit is set to the maximum power level. And nothing, these simple capacitors are not powerful enough. I ordered a few super capacitors and I will test them in a future video. You can also use this weak spot welder with capacitors only, but I don't recommend it. So thank you for wasting your time watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment below and share it. And if you don't want to miss more useless videos like this, click the subscribe button. Bye!